Class needs me. Sin surrounds you. No! Still sane, Exile? This time you will find a... Suddenly, you will fall to ruin. Take your prize and go. will be endless. Hey guys, we do series there bring you a new video about the Fire Burst Elementalist, which everyone is playing. Uberdon has presented to us all, and it's very, very fun to play as well. Considering the gameplay style, which is auto bomber, it is very budget viable. And if you keep investing, this build will clear all gaming content with ease. So uh, definitely I would play this again. I invested around 115x, but obviously you don't need this much to play. I will show you in the POV on the video description. Uh, and all you have to do is to press the Storm Brand. This will hit the enemy and every time you hit something, you will cast the Fire Burst automatically. Fire Burst from, comes from the Essence of Hysteria. Uh, hysteria and you can throw in any weapon we throw on bows because it's easier to hit the plus one stock the gems afterwards and every time you hit with anything you will cast the fire burst with a one second cooldown so um it is very easy to play this build because once you get the shaper of flames you'll ignite everything with uh with your hits uh, and also any source of damage it is uh, very welcome to this build except the fire damage because of the elemental equilibrium but you can add damage uh, with cold or lightning and also shaper of winter so all of our damage can chill and then we are using the cold of cold conduction as well because this way all the enemies chilled by our hits are shocked and everyone is shocked by our hits are chilled uh, this way Whenever we kill an enemy, we cast the Herd of Thunder. Herd of Thunder will hit, will cast the Fire Burst. The Fire Burst will kill everyone. But most importantly, uh, the, the mobs will be shocked. And because they are shocked, they will uh, enable the cast of the Herd of Thunder once again. Because we chill them with the Fire Burst. All enemies are chilled and then because they are chilled they become shocked and because they died as shocked they will enable the Heart of Thunder again and again and again and this cycle will never stop so you keep running uh, and do this. Every everything you have to do is to run and cast uh, Stormbrand uh, only at bosses because this way with our helmet we'll be able to uh, apply a very nice amount of exposure because of our ascendancy as well. So it is very, very easy indeed to play this build. So um, talking about the, the POB on the video's description, on the notes section, there's plenty of information, information regarding the Pantheon, Bennett's ascendancy order, also the leveling that you should be using with uh, magic wands, rare ruby ring and one hour of alteration. This way, at around uh, Act 2 boss, you'll be able to fight uh, with fire damage to spells once. Before that, 
you are able to level as a witch. This is a uh, Armageddon brand race setup by Tyler Killer. Uh, you can level as um, with Stormblast Mine, Freezing Pulse, all the setup here, all the gems that you can use, and a few, a few setups at some levels, lev like level 10, level 20, and level 28. All of this is available on this link right here. So you're welcome to level as um, by using his setup because I think it is very, very fast. And once you get to the level 28, you're able to uh, use the Armageddon brand until you get the Fire Burst weapon at level 60 something. So very, very easy way to level. Uh, here you also have some modifiers that are very important for this build. And this way you're able to uh, notice and get your items to scale your build very well. On the tree section at the bottom left here, I have proposed a few uh, leveling trees while you're using the Armageddon brand. Once you have the clusters, you're able to use this one. Or if you're going for the budget, ver ver uh, budget version, sorry, you're able to uh, get all these notes here. Uh, please have in mind that if you're going for the budget version, remember to get the cold conduction cluster geo only. And also, if you're going for the budget one, you have a lot, lot more life uh, in comparison to the cluster geo one, where I have around 7k. For the, uh, for the gems here, we are using the fire burst. And since the, it's a essence craft on the weapon, you don't have to have um the your weapon six linked all you have to do is sock it in gems so it is very easy to play uh, this way as well we have a heart of thunder with elemental pro leaf which is very important malevolence steel skin separately we have a movementation setup with flamey dash smoke mine portal arcane surge the storm band with combustion awaken hex touch and flammability if you don't have um the curse Curse enemies with elemental weakness on your gloves. You don't necessarily need the Awaken Hex Touch. This is only after you have the corruption on your gloves. Before that, you can use the Hex Touch normally. And the Fire Burst here. So, Fire Burst, uh, like I told you, it's this skill. At the end game version, uh, I have around 5.6 5, uh, 5 million damage, which is more than enough. Considering how easy it is to, to kill the mobs, you will see in the Cyrus clip. We have this bow here crafted, uh, a regular Elder item. Because of our gloves, uh, all of our items should be Elder. Uh, the more that we have, the more damage we do, the more damage over time with the player we have uh, on this build. So, Calm's Heart Elder version. The Archde Archdemon base, it is crafted with Warlord and Redeemers. Uh, through Awakened Arb and Maven's Arb. This way you can deal Ignite Steel damage faster and also nearby enemies have minus fire rest. These boots here are not necessary. I'll, I only uh, use those because I was looking for the Troll Master and I needed a move speed. A better boots here is one with Ignite Steel damage faster, uh, like I told you here, with some movement speed, life and resist, so don't worry about it. On your amulet, you should be looking for fire damage list as life. If you can, get also known damage as extra chaos. Replica Ember Wake is nice as well. Some Elder Ring uh, could be Vermilion if you can buy one. Uh, otherwise, just get some life and resists. The Headhunter or a Elder, an Elder uh, Stygian Vice maybe, with some uh, maximum life flats and some percentage as well, maximum life with some resists. A Sulfur Flask could be, uh, could be replaced by a Bottle of Faith. Granite with a Serious Promise, the Elemental Modifier there is very important. And a Cinder Swallow with Quicksilver. The Cluster Jewels, uh, one is large with 8 passives, Prismatic Heart, Sadist and Widespread destruction, destruction. The other one is a Disorientant Display with Prismatic Heart. Uh, I got the two passive ones because it was a lot cheaper, something around 25C in comparison instead of um, a 7X one. So I saved 6.5 exotics there. Uh, and you don't 
really have uh, that much increased damage so it's really up to you the medium clusters it is very important for you to get uh burn burning bright with blow black with five passive skills maximum and also you can get one with master of fire this way uh helps you with the clear if you want and also um if you want you can replace this arch demon with a blizzard crown which would grant more uh, even more damage for your build because blizzard crown has a very nice amount of added cool damage but it's really up to you so if you don't want that you can replace this matter master of fire with a another burning bright here but it is very very important to have cold conduction because of the properties like i told you uh, at the beginning of this video in the regular jewels you want to get fire damage maximum life and elemental resists you should be looking uh, for a corrupted blood one if you can but also increase it damage over time uh, which is a very nice stat as well transcendent mine is also welcome uh, right here because of the damage over time multiplying per ant and also anatomical knowledge because of the life per ant in radius um also something you could do is uh if you don't have the enough currency you could play as a budget version here also use the budget tree so you can see uh, that our damage really uh, is low but you have almost 9k life and i can guarantee you this damage is more than enough to clear the end end game content it will just feel a little bit slow but uh, we all start slow at the start of the league so it is a very very uh, nice option for you as you can see because all you have here is a fire burst with fire damage as extra chaos on our bow uh, a shit quiver helmet as well uh, no elder calms hard uh, the gloves this one we need uh, because of the damage over time multiplier we also uh, have the uh, the boots some items very very uh, scuffed items here and if you don't consider all of this you you see that our damage is still uh, pretty high considering considering how budget this one is right so you have this option as well so there is plenty of useful information that you can uh, use on the pov that it's on the video description but overall speaking i had tons of fun with this build I invested 115 exalts, but you don't obviously need that much. Um, like you saw uh, right now, uh, it is very, very cheap to start. All you need is a essence of hysteria uh, on any weapon. I would suggest a bow because this way it will be easier to use to craft the plus one socket gems with the meta craft stuff. And also to use a quiver, maybe a block quiver if you want more defensively. But it is very very nice to play considering it is the auto bomber and all i have to do is to walk around uh without even casting the storm brand when every now and then and not maybe before. on the bosses but it is very very comfortable to play so i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching and see you next time <laughs> what's this what's a real this? challenge a real challenge you finally caught my attention Good <laughs> jam. The others found strength in their projections. They became reliant. Why fun? What's the point?
obsoleto, né, mano? O que faz esses alta de boys de 200 pontos? Eu ganho uma ex? Cara, se eu te contar, você não vai acreditar, velho, o que, que faz esses alta de boys aí. Tem que ser na hora certa. Aí é uma live. 